the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. Padre Pio, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let go, let God, let go all the worries and anxieties in life. And let God, let God take over it. And don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Living Bread. The Bread from Heaven. Satisfying our deepest hunger with Christ's presence in the Holy Eucharist. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the Gospel of John, chapter 41, chapter 6, 41 to 51, we encounter a profound dialogue between Jesus and the Jews seeking to understand his identity and his mission. Jesus declared himself as the bread that came down from heaven, emphasizing that those who partake of him the bread will live forever. He offers himself as the source of eternal life, inviting all of us who believe in him to receive to the nourishment that transcends physical bread, body, soul, and divinity. As Jesus proclaimed himself as the living bread, the Jews grumbled and questioned how can he claim to have come down from heaven. They struggled to grasp, to get the spiritual depth of his message, focusing instead on the familiarity with the human origins. Yet Jesus patiently explains that the bread he offer his, his own flesh given for the life of the world. This beautiful passage illuminates the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. When we celebrate the Eucharistic meal, it is the celebration of eternal life, where Christ's body and blood are the truly present under the appearance of the bread and wine, offering believers a profound encounter with his sacrificial love and life-giving grace. Through the Holy Eucharist, Eucharistia, we partake of the living bread that sustains our souls, nourishing us with the presence of Christ himself. In reflecting of this story, we are called to ponder the significance of Jesus as the living bread in our lives, mystified, crucified, glorified body. Just as physical bread sustains our bodies, Christ nourishes our spirits and satisfies our deepest hunger for meaning, purpose, and communion with God. He invites us to partake of His living bread, presence, and to abide in Him with a source of eternal life. Moreover, Jesus' proclamation of Himself as the bread of life challenges us to deepen our faith and recognizing the transformative power of encountering Christ in this sacred sacrament. How can we allow the bread of life to nourish and sustain us on our journey of faith? As we contemplate the sublime gift of the Holy Eucharist and the reality of Jesus as the living bread, may we open our hearts to receive Him to encounter Him more fully and to be transformed by His love and grace. Let us approach the altar of sacrifice with faith and humility, partaking of the bread of life 
with gratitude and devotion, knowing that in Him we find sustenance for our souls and eternal life. Always remember, after receiving the bread of life, we can be a bread for others. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.